Hi, I'm Jamie Plain from Cambio Vehicle Electronics and today we're looking at diagnosing engine management faults on this 2009 Volkswagen Passat diesel. The driver's brought the vehicle in today because the engine management warning light is lighted up on the dashboard notifying him there's a fault with the vehicle and he's brought the vehicle in for correct diagnosis. The technician has connected the diagnostic tool to the vehicle and is scanning for OBD error codes. The OBD or onboard diagnostic system is there to detect, record and display error codes which occur in emission control relevant components. The intention is to prevent severe damage to the engine components and reduce the car's negative impact on the environment. There's often some confusion in the different terms used such as OBD, EOBD and Euro. A distinction must be made between the exhaust gas standards and the legal requirement for a diagnostic system on vehicles. EOBD refers to European onboard diagnostic whereas Euro 6 refers to the legal requirement for emission standards. If any engine management problems occur, then the malfunction indicator lamp will be activated on the dashboard. This only happens when there's a problem with the vehicle, such as a misfire that could cause similar damage or a problem with an emission control product. The MIL will only go out if the engine is clear of any problems for three consecutive drive cycles. Having made a note of the original error codes before clearing them down, the technician has now rescanned the vehicle. The remaining error code now needs to be investigated. P0104, mass or volume airflow circuit intermittent, relates to the airflow into the engine. This would direct us to a fault with the air mass meter. However, we need to investigate fully before replacing any parts, as many other components within the air intake system can produce this error code. Air intake error codes do not always mean the air mass system is at fault. In most cases, the air mass sensor has simply detected a fault elsewhere in the system. That's why it's always important to do electronic and manual diagnostic checks on all the components that sit around it. For example, the EGR valve, the diesel pre-flap, solenoid valves, vacuum pumps, and also physically checking the air mass sensor housing and the air filter. After going through these checks, we've now found the air mass sensor is faulty and we'll be looking to replace it. It's always important to do these diagnostic checks because air mass sensor faults is the number one question on our technical helpline. The air mass sensor plays a vital role in the control of emission levels in modern diesels, allowing the ECU to monitor and regulate the flow rate of the exhaust gas recirculation valve. The sensor normally consists of a thin heated metal element inside a plastic or metal housing that is positioned in the engine's air intake system between the air filter and the intake manifold. The sensor calculates the mass of air flowing into the engine by measuring the increase in electrical current required to keep the sensor element heated while air flows past it and cools it down. Incorrectly replacing the air mass sensor will result in an inability to clear the error code, wasting time and a return visit for the customer. Once the air mass sensor has been replaced, clear down the error code, take the car for a test drive and then rescan the vehicle. It's important that the test drive should last at least 15 to 20 minutes with a variety of driving conditions through the town and faster road to enable the vehicle to complete a full cycle of sensor calibrations. The vehicle also might need to be turned on and off several times to complete this. The fault code should not reappear and the warning lamp on the dashboard should now be off. So, to summarise the important points in today's presentation. Firstly, we had a full diagnostic process with the use of a diagnostic tool and a combination of manual and physical checks, including all the relevant components in the system. We then we used a quality replacement part before finally having a test drive. So that concludes today's presentation. Thank you for watching.